Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who haven't been here before, hi, I'm Lori Hill and on this channel we talk about plastic surgery, cosmetic procedures, and beauty. You don't have to want to get plastic surgery to subscribe to this channel as we also talk about beauty standards and the expectations of people living in a looks-based society. Now if that sounds interesting to you, then please subscribe. This video is about how Kim Kardashian achieves her very tan look. Not her tan look, but her very tan look. This look right here. I know a lot of you were shocked at how tan Kim appeared on the Keeping Up with the Kardashians reunion show. I saw a lot of comments asking about what kind of spray tan or body bronzers Kim uses. Then other comments of people saying that, of course she's tan, she's half Armenian. And then there was a few people who just figured that Kim just enhanced her natural tan somehow. Because she still looks strikingly darker than her sister Courtney, who is also half Armenian. Whenever we talk about skin color, it tends to bring up a lot of feelings in people, valid feelings about cultural appropriation and colorism. And even though this video won't delve into the deeper repercussions of tanning to the point of racial ambiguity, I want to assure you that I don't take these issues lightly, and this video isn't being made to encourage people to tan to Kim's extent. I do plan to address these issues in future videos. Now you may be wondering, then why make this video at all? Well, this video is very much in line with the theme of my channel, which is that the entertainment world is an illusion and it's important to lift that veil. And this is just another veil that needs to be lifted. Once you understand how Kim and other celebrities achieve this dark of a tan, you may just stop buying the tanning products, bronzers, body makeup, and expensive tanning sessions in order to emulate their look, as these are not the products responsible for celebrities' super dark tans. Take a look at how tan Kim looks in this recent Keeping Up reunion show. I was personally shocked by how dark her tan was. And from the comments, I know you guys were too. Now, Kim is half Armenian on her father's side, but on her mother's side, she's Irish, Dutch, and of English descent. The Fitzpatrick color scale is a scale that measures your skin's reactivity to UV light. Now, on that scale, you can be anywhere from a 1 to a 6. Kim falls somewhere in the middle between a 3 and a 4, which means that although it's possible that she may sometimes burn in sunlight, she'll generally tan to a light or moderate tan color. Now this scale does measure how you tan naturally, and by naturally that means how you tanned as a child when you were out in the sun. Now from an early age, both Kim and Courtney always tan to at least a light brown color. But Kim's tan has changed throughout the years. Let's take a look at her as a teen where she had a very dark tan. And now here, as a young adult, she's seen with a light to moderate tan. And here, well into her 20s, she looks quite tan consistently, though the color looks like it's coming from her tanning while also using a body bronzer or spray tan to enhance her natural tan more. Now in her 30s, she goes back and forth between a light tan to a very dark tan, with no obvious sun damage. She also goes through a stage where her skin looks lighter than usual, like she's going through a skin preservation stage, and she's purposefully staying away from any sun or UV light source. Now here we see Kim's latest photos, as well as how she looked in the reunion show. And here we see an extreme difference between how tan Kim looks on the reunion show versus her dark tans of the past. So how has Kim achieved this very dark tan look? Now, since a lot of you were saying it was a spray tan or tanning products, I did a quick Google search and that brought up a bunch of expensive tanning products that Kim and her sisters have either promoted or mentioned in the past. I even found this little gem from 2013 promoting their Kardashian Glow tanning product. I always feel my best when I'm tan. 
having a tan is something that every girl wants. It makes you look skinnier, it makes you look better. I just like that glowy tan feeling, so I just think, you know, everyone can use a tan. When I'm pale, I feel a little bit heavier. I feel not as much myself. And while I have no doubt that Kim's probably used those products in the past, those products are not responsible for how dark of a tan Kim has today. Kim's tan comes from another source. Luckily, my source has told me what the source of Kim's tan is. And I'm gonna share that with you all today. Even though I have no doubt that this is what she does, I'm still going to say allegedly. And I'm not recommending this way of getting tan. I'm simply letting you know the name of the product. After that, we're gonna go over the side effects and also the pros and cons of using the product. So please watch the video till the end because there's some very important information there. So without further ado, Kim allegedly uses tanning injections. Yep, you heard me right, tanning injections. She either injects herself or gets someone to inject her to reach this level of dark tan that we see today. The name of the substance she uses is called Melanotan 2. Melanotan 2 is an injectable peptide that mimics melanocyte stimulating hormone in your body. The hormone binds melanocortin receptors and stimulates the production of the pigment melanin in your skin cells. Of course, the more melanin you have, the darker your skin appears. So in layman's terms, this is a substance that goes into your body and encourages your cells to produce more of the pigment melanin, which will allow your skin to react to the sun in a way that produces a darker tan than if you didn't use the substance at all. Now, if you overuse melanotan, you'll end up with a very dark tan, similar to what Kim has. Now, there are two types of melanotan on the market, melanotan 1 and melanotan 2. Melanotan 1, you can only get through a prescription, and it was originally developed for people with a rare genetic disorder that causes them to have extreme pain when sunlight hits them, and even some other types of light as well. For those people, Melanotan 1 has been a lifesaver, as they can now go in the sun without feeling pain or getting very burned. But Melanotan 1 and Melanotan 2 are illegal in the United States, the UK, and Australia. While in the planning stage of this video, I did obtain some Melanotan 2 and used it for about two weeks so that I can report the results to you all and also let you know the pros and cons of using it. After about two weeks use, I delved into the research and that is when I found out it was illegal. Let me know in the comments below if you'd still like to see a video about my experience with Melanotan 2. My skin is quite pale and I do tend to burn in the sun. The only tan I've ever had is a spray tan. Oh, and just so you know, I wasn't trying to get to Kim's level of a dark tan. I was hoping to get a little bit of a golden tan using melanotan too. Now you don't automatically get to Kim's level of tan just by using melanotan too. You actually have to use it in very large doses to get to Kim's level of tan. But those types of doses are really not recommended and the actual dosage is very small amounts spread out through a couple of months. Ideally you want to end up with a golden tan using melanotan. I was unable to find any life-threatening side effects or any reports of injuries using Melanotan 2 correctly. Most of the bad side effects that people reported were from using it in very large doses or completely using it incorrectly. Here are some examples of people who use Melanotan in too large of a dose and too often. And here are some examples of people who use the product correctly. Melanotan 2 is activated with UV light, so you still do have to tan minimally in the sun or some other UV light source. So likely, Kim was injecting herself and then going out in the sunlight and activating her tan. And that way, she got darker using melanotan than she would have gotten naturally without melanotan. Now, let's go over some pros and cons. Now, an obvious pro is getting a golden tan color without burning in the sun. Now, there's many more cons like freckling, darkening of freckles, and getting new freckles. 
nausea. Now, a big con is that because the product isn't legal, the sale of it is also illegal and unregulated online. So you could end up with a mislabeled bottle or a product that has lots of impurities, and that's a real risk. And then there's some other side effects like heightened sex drive or loss of appetite. And you can decide for yourself if those are pros or cons. Through my research, I've learned to recognize the look of somebody who uses tanning injections. And I've come across a few other celebrities who I think may also be using some type of tanning injections, though I don't have confirmation on this. Some examples are here. So I want you guys to let me know in the comments, do you want me to do a video about my experience with Milano Tan too? Also, what do you think about celebrities tanning to such extreme levels? Thank you guys so much for watching. Up next is my latest video on Kylie Jenner's plastic surgeries, or go watch my own plastic surgery playlist. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>